Therefore, his arm, brought, his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness is sustained him. God himself sent a man. He sent his own son to be a man. So God is looking for a man. When he wants to evangelize a soul, he sends a man. See, angels cannot win souls. Angels do not carry the authority and power to evangelize. That is not their work. They cannot win souls. We, the children of God, we are the carriers of life. We are the ones that can impact life because we are made in the image of God. We are, Jesus is in us. So we are the carriers of life. We are the only ones that can win souls. So when God wants to win a soul, he, sends, he looks for a man and he sends the man out to go and win the souls. God is looking for you today to be his soul winner. Just as God has used me today to speak to you, if I had refused to sit here, God would have looked for somebody else. But he needs a man to speak. I believe that God is calling you today. You are that man. I say you. You are that man God is looking for. And you must answer in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to, uh, to see. Let's see. Uh, in the book of Acts 8, we talked about the, We saw the European, uh, the, the Ethiopian eunuch. The Ethiopian eunuch in Acts 8. If you look at verse 26 to 40, it tells you the story of the Ethiopian eunuch. And look, I want to read from verse 26. Can I read, please? Praise the Lord. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza which is desert. And he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Isaiah the prophet. When the spirit, when, then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. And Philip ran uh, Tita to him and had him read the, the prophet Isaiah and said, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? If you read forward, you understand that the Philip ministered to this Ethiopian eunuch, and the Ethiopian eunuch became born again, accepted Jesus Christ. Philip was needed at that time for the ministration. God is looking for a man. God is not going to come from heaven to minister salvation to you. He is going to look for a man. And I think you are that man that God is looking for. You are that man that is going to evangelize. You are that man that God is calling. I know that you are that man. Are you ready to give yourself up today? God is looking for genuine preachers. God is looking, there are preachers all around, but very few are called. God is looking for people that he's going to call. People who are ready to sacrifice their lives. People who are ready to give up everything. People who are ready to be used as weapons of warfare. God is looking for a man to be filled with his power, but he can't find. He's looking for men because the few he had tried to fill his power, with his power became proud and felt that, look, <laughs> that without them, nothing would have happened. God is looking for genuine men, people he will fill with his power. I've had people cry, oh, fill me with power, fill me with power. When the power come, can you handle it? So God is looking for men who've made up their mind, they have made up their mind to, to walk with the power of God. And if you make up your mind and you come and you're submissive to the word of God, God will have no option but to fill you with his power. I say, God is looking for a man. You are that man God is looking for. I am sure and I believe that God has found you today. In Jesus' name. God is looking for a man to send, but he can't find those willing to forsake all and pay the price. People are often after their belly and after their future. When you see people and you ask them, what does it mean to make it? They now begin to count millions. That is not making it. Making it is serving God. 
making it is being sure of going to heaven. You can make all the wealth, you can have all the money in your life. Without heaven, you are a wasted material. If without making it to heaven, forget it. You can have all the wealth in the bank. Someday you're going to die. And if you're not fully serving the Lord, you will go to hell. I want to tell you there is hell. You may not like what I'm saying, but the hell exists. And those who refuse to serve the Lord will end up in hell. I say today God is looking for a man. Uh, I, I, I live in a country called uh, Belgium. Uh, uh, Belgium is the capital of Europe. 90% of the Belgians really have not properly read the Bible. Now, uh, uh, close to 90% do not own the Bible. Uh, in Belgium, we have about 0.06% of born-again Christians. Uh, Islam is moving very fast. It's a fast-growing religion. Witchcraft is celebrated in this my nation, Belgium. God is looking for men. He's looking for men who are going to come to this country, not for their belly, but for the gospel. People who come in to preach this gospel. Europe is dying. Europe is absolutely finished morally. The children are finished. Drugs, everything. God is looking for men who will come into this nation, into this continent and preach the gospel. Men who are ready to die. Men who are ready to be martyred. Men who are ready to surrender everything and die for the sake of the gospel. I want to tell you, God is looking for a man. God is looking for a man. God is looking for a man. When God called me from the UK to Belgium, I quickly accepted. It wasn't an easy thing to do, but I accepted and I came. And I know today that if you will accept, oh, God is going to do something with you. You see, whoever answers the call of God, God never leaves you alone. He looks after you. He feeds you. He takes care of you. You know, you become a mystery to men. They can't understand. Answering the call of God is not an easy process. First, you go through his training. And while you go through his training, that is where most people give up. They, it's, like, it's like being called to be a SEAL or a Marine in the U.S. Army. Uh, you have to go through the proper training. And when you come out and you have your, 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 your wings or whatever they call it, or, or your SEAL or whatever they call it, you become proud, you know, ready to be used by the government of the United States to do whatever they want to do. But I want to tell you that God is also looking for men who are ready to go through training, men whom he's going to pass through training, who is going to pass through the fire. He's going to bring them out pure, hardened, and strong to go out and win souls. Uh, this is what God is looking for. Because these last days, we need soldiers of the cross. We need real soldiers, people ready to die, people ready to give their life, people ready to go into the Islamic country and preach Jesus. Rather, it is the other way. They are coming over to preach. But we should also go over to preach the word of God, pure and clean to them. I just opened my heart today as I'm speaking to you. I speak to you from the bottom of my heart that Jesus is looking for a man. And I believe you're that man, you're that person, you, you are that person, God can use you. People like uh, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, my pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, he was a man that God looked for and he surrendered himself, he gave up everything. Today, God is blessing him abundantly and even we, his children, God is blessing us. Through him, God has blessed a lot of us as we are growing, you know, so God could make you to a blessing that you could bless other people. God is looking for a man. And I just wanted to stretch forth your hands before you go to bed because I know that God is talking to you this night as I stretch forth my hands. Lord, I just pray for them. Just, just touch the screen. I pray, Lord, Father, that you will touch these people to be willing to be used. Father, I pray that your conviction will come upon them. Father, that they will see that we do not have much time. The world is ending. People are going to hell every day, Lord Father. And you're looking for men who will preach righteousness, men who will bring people out of hell through prayer, men who bring people out of hell through the preaching of the word of God, through the manifestation of your power and your miraculous signs. Lord, I pray that your power will come upon the people today, even as they're listening to your word in the name of Jesus. No matter your color. God will use you. In Jesus' name we pray. As you go to bed, may you continue to shine. And may you continue to look forward. I love you so much. 
And I would just want you to look forward to other episodes of Just Before You Go To Bed. God has blessed this program. A few people have come together to support it. And we know that more of you will join it in the future. And the more and more blessings will come to the nations. And heaven will be filled with men and women, children. And that is the will of our Father in heaven. In Jesus' name. Remain blessed. Continue to shine. In Jesus' name we pray. So many are oppressed at night. Now, the word of God will arise like fire and hammer to stand in your defense to give you a good night's sleep. Things that you're carrying, the guilt of the sins you're carrying, just give them over to me. For this understanding, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. While you're studying the word, that your deliverance could just come. God could just give you solutions to the problem. God has given Pastor Mike the mandate to speak his word into the lives of people to prepare them for bed. Just before you go to bed, Jesus is Lord and heaven is our destination. Watch this here. Watch before you go to bed. God bless you for watching. We hope this program has blessed you. If you've been touched and have a testimony, please let us hear from you. Have a good night's sleep. And God bless you. And God bless you.